we're about to do what's called an epiduroscopy. This is a diagnostic and therapeutic procedure. It has the advantage of visualizing the epidural canal, so you can see the actual pathology, which sometimes you don't see on the MRI. So you have a visual diagnostic, you have a mechanical diagnostic because you pull on the structures that are supposed to hurt, and then you have a treatment options on the way out, which is either uh, medication drugs, you inject high hyaluronidase, which is gonna melt the scar tissue, and you also inject steroids. In our case, we inject triamcinol. But what's new with epidroscopy, you can do a, a thermal ablation. So basically, either with laser or in our case, with radiofrequency, you ablate the, the scar tissue, the fibrosis, and sometimes the small hernias, which is releasing the, the nerve roots, basically. So it's both a diagnostic and a therapeutic procedure. It helps patients to get away of their radicular pain or back pain. Indications being failed back surgery syndrome, uh, mild um, canal stenosis and hernias, and uh, other spine pathology as well. Thank you. Some people use a scrub technician, scrubbed in, but I think if you have just an assistant, it's fine to flush it, it's okay. No emoții o să simți o mică, mică ciupitură imediat. Spui dacă doare, da? It's about there, okay? So here I'm in the canal now, you see? But this is just a local anesthetic. So she has many left-sided pain. We'll talk about the case afterwards because we already started, but she started with severe pain, as I told you, around the hip line, and sometimes a little bit on the exterior of the, of the calf, so like an L5, but her main complaint was always hip pain, high, like I iliac crest. So we'll do the injection live. Un pic doare acum, ha? Okay. Salveaza? So if you look, it, it's obvious, right? Left side is symptoms, nothing gets in, it's all on the right side, huh? So that's your starting point, so to speak. And then we'll do a lateral one too, for documentation. Poza? This is a bit less relevant because it, you, don't, you can't tell left and right here, it's up and down. But it, it tells you an idea that, you know, definitely left side is not doing much. What you see blurry is the contrast that needs to be washed away first. There you go. So that's fat, huh? This is all scar tissue that, that she has from the previous surgery. This is perfect. Dă și tu, fă și tu, adică nu mai mâini, lasă că o să ne dea el. Local, da? Da. Un pic de presiune locală e ok. Un pic de jenă locală, da? Trebuie să mă ții, uite-te pe ecran, ca să când vei sânge să-mi dai drumul, Dani, da? So, if, if you understand that you're working on a 3 mm channel, then it really gives you a different perspective of how much damage you actually can cause, huh? Gata? Uh -huh. Da. Ah. It's following my track, you see? Yes. 
it, it's it going exactly on the side that we made. We need to do a little bit on the left side if we can. Let's see. Ideally, you want to see something going to the L5. It's not coming as clear. I would like to dig more, but I think she's too tired of the position. So I think we'll just leave it there. I'll try one more time to go to the left mechanically. If it doesn't work, we'll call it a day. I'm actually happy now. I only, get, I only have 40 millimeters of contrast, not 10. So I think it's fine. 